supposedly have PSR issues is Newcastle. They're believed to be close to the limit too. Uh, if they were to sell uh, Gomares for the £100 million they're looking for, how how good could the benefits be for them with their PSR situation moving forward if they could strike a deal like that? You know, it's quite interesting, Newcastle, because um, on paper they do look like they do need to sell. And clearly we've only got a week left. And uh, the Gimaraj situation could be £100 million on a release clause, uh, but at the moment it doesn't look like anybody's prepared to pay it. So um, either they have a plan B or they are preparing to deliberately uh, fail PSR for the current season and take the penalty, which is always possible, of course. Um, so it's hard to say which you know which way they're going to go. Of course, they may spring a couple of Saudi deals at the last minute, but those deals do need to be at fair market value, and they do need to be approved by the Premier League. So um, it, it may well be that we'll find out about those today or over the weekend. Um, but but you, they do look like they are short for the current season. Clearly, if they do sell Gimaresh, um, hundred million pounds on Gimaresh. Gimarash is probably something like maybe £75 million pound PSR profit now, given the uh, amortisation that they've already taken on him. So it would be a very, very substantial profit, which would set them up for the next couple of years in terms of PSR, probably, especially because next season you have um, the kicking in of the Adidas um, uh, kit deal and, uh, and a number of other commercial deals that, that will bring those revenues up. Um, of course, that offsets slightly the fact that they're not in European competition next season and won't have the Champions League sort of 35 million quid that they got this season. So uh, they've got, it'll be interesting to see what they do over the next few days. They've been uh, quite um, surprisingly quiet, I think given they do on the numbers that I've seen and the projections, they are only projections, but but on those projections, they do seem to need to sell uh, before uh, the 30th of June, but it's quite quiet aside from Gimarash. And I, I just, I think it's unlikely now at this stage that somebody will pay 100 million for Gimarash. Yeah, definitely. Is, is there anyone that could actually have that money available in the next week or so to even do a deal of that magnitude i mean i know we saw the one for rice last summer i don't know if that went into july did it maybe but mm. it's a huge transfer like on one player especially with all the psr concerns is anyone actually available capable of doing that deal well yeah i mean i, I think city would have capacity under psr to do it um because the they so regularly sell players that that it creates quite big psr surpluses City's PSR surplus is probably in excess of £200 million. So City could do it from a PSR perspective. From a cash perspective, I suspect you could negotiate with, with Newcastle uh, such that you pay the cash over, over a period, uh, even though apparently the way that the release clause works is it requires immediate payment. But I think Newcastle would be willing to negotiate on that part. Um, there's not many other clubs, you know, that... that could do it. Arsenal could probably do it. Uh, they do have capacity again on the PSR. Um, PSG is a permanent mystery, of course, uh, as to how they can uh, meet financial fair play uh, given their wage bill. Um, but they would probably be the other club. Um, and I think beyond that, probably nobody in world football could do it. So you know, it's not, not a huge market. Uh, I, I think, I suspect really this completely depends on whether City want to do that deal. Um, it really is as simple as that. You know, do they want to do it? And do they want to do it in the next 10 days? And uh, I suspect if they want to do it, they've been talking for a while. Uh, because, of course, Gimarash is not even here. He's, he's, he's at Copper America. So, um, you know, the chance of being able to do a deal of that scale uh, in, uh, at short notice pretty unlikely um, and pretty difficult to execute. So, um, I don't know, New Newcastle, it seems to me Newcastle must have something up their sleeve because um, they can't be relying on the Gimarash deal. Uh, 